hi Joanna and all the friends who are involved and committed to bringing meaning into lives of people with profound and multiple disabilities. My name is Akhil Paul and I work for Sense International India which is an organization working with people with multiple disabilities and deaf blindness. In India, as in many other countries, most of the time deaf blindness includes multiple disabilities and people with profound and multiple disabilities include deaf blind people as well. So it is very difficult in a population of more than half a million which is population of people with multiple disabilities to separate out people with uh, profound and multiple disabilities and uh, multiple learning disabilities or people with deaf blindness. So we have taken a, I would say, a all inclusive approach because since we have started in 1997, the problem has been if you reach out to a person with multiple disabilities or a person with deaf blindness in a particular location, you might be the only person reaching out to them. So then there are so many different disabling conditions around that person in a village, in a town, in a city. Nobody else is working with them. So that's why we work with people with multiple disabilities and our focus is on deaf blindness because we believe deaf blindness is a very uh, low incidence disability. Not many people are focusing on people with deaf blindness, though they are cognitively smart, but it's just the communication difficulties and accessing information from the outside world and giving it back to the world that's what the problem is so we try and bridge this communication gap we work with parents we work with teachers we work with caregivers siblings and people with multiple disabilities and deaf blind as well our work has been quite expensive in the country. We are working in 23 states. As you know, India is a large country. So we are reaching out to about 80,000 deafblind people, which includes people with multiple disabilities. In this video, you, you will find some of the service users or some of the uh, stories which are people with profound and multiple learning disabilities. So please have a look and I would be really interested to get connected with you all. So thank you very much, Joanna, for this opportunity. Wishing you the best. Bye. Sense International India started in 1997 to find answer for deafblind children who are in India. And when we say deafblindness, it is not deafness and blindness. It is about deafness as well as blindness. There are children who are deaf as well as blind, which means they can't see, can't hear, and can't speak. There are children whose world is limited to their fingertips. Beyond their fingertips, there's nothing for them because they can't see unless and until somebody sits with them to explore the world around them, for them, with them. And that unlocking is done by my colleagues in Sense International India and our partner organizations which are spread over 21 states in the country reaching out to 45,000 deafblind children. 
Nidhi is a 11 year old girl with deaf blindness and she learns uh, this all daily activities in this center. She comes regularly in this uh, classroom and she is doing the different activities like sorting, identification of daily living activities, that all things she is learning here. Best thing is that she can recognize us that I am means I am her father and uh, she is her mother and uh, she can uh, recognize her brother and sister also. I cannot uh, describe the pleasure and sense ki what I how I feel that when she tell me Papa. When we started in 1997, all our programs, all our activities were done by us directly. We were working with about 20, 20 partners who were reaching out to deafblind children in various parts of the country. At that point of time, we were finding it very uh, troublesome for us that the requests were coming from far and beyond and we were not able to reach out to them. That was the time when we got a huge funding from European Union who gave us support to expand our services again. But the expansion was, we decided it is not going to happen only on Sense International India. We worked with partners and four of those partners in region, east, west, south and north, they were picked up to become the regional learning centers. And through the regional learning centers, we started reaching out to many more organizations. They are like mini Sense International Indias. They are doing training, they are doing advocacy work, they are training teachers, they are working directly with deafblind children, they are supporting smaller NGOs to start their deafblind initiatives. And what it has done to the cause of deafblindness that now in every part of the country there is one expert organization which is dealing into deaf blindness because of the eu support work expanded from 25 partners to 350 partners and now we are reaching out to more than 47000 deaf blind people it is through the work with our partners in the four regions that we are able to reach and enable deaf blind children in the most remote areas of india lives of children are turned around as we assist them in getting an education and an equal start in life. With help from his trainer Shankar Bhai, Sanjay in Piludra in Gujarat is very much part of the school. Shankar Bhai was trained by us and through his careful work, now Sanjay goes to school every day and like his friends, faces a positive future. Sanjay came to my school and he was the first deafblind child in my school. Along with my staff, uh, I supported him a lot for all, for all his activities and classroom related studies. Uh, Shankar Bhai from Eder, he, he supported us, he guided us how to work with Sanjay and what kind of support he requires. Sanjay Maru Pianuche. Sanjay is my classmate uh, and a very good friend of mine. I uh, am surprised that e even being a deafblind, he can study and play uh, like us. I try and support him in all the school activities. I think such people are equal part of uh, the society as we are. Shankar Bhai works with Sanjay in the family home and has sensitized the entire community to the needs of a deafblind child and has taught his father basic signing. Sanjay has also found his own talent of painting and has even won a national award for his work. Being a part of NAB EDA's home-based program has helped me to get more exposure and learn life skills. I am now a more confident person and hope that I will be able to achieve all my dreams. We have also become member of Sense International India's Prayas Network. This has benefited us to network with other parents who are facing similar challenges of raising a deafblind child. Now I have a son who can help me in farming. 
Since International India is our partner organization, when we started working for the deaf blindness, our knowledge on deaf blindness, which is a unique disability, was less. So, Sense International came to assist us to upgrade our knowledge and skills, supported us for extending our services to the children, and also assisted us to build networks with NGOs, parents, and deafblind population themselves. Uh, these are the three children coming from one family. When we found them, they are they are in a in a in a corner in a dark room, just lying one on the other. Uh, we found, when we found these children, they don't have any, I mean, they didn't utilize <laughs> their vision. They are not able to speak a word. They are really malnourished also, because uh, parents didn't give them enough food. Then with the support of our grassroots level worker, we made, we made uh, the parents to accept their condition and uh, we spoke about uh, the training need for these three children and uh, now they have grown up quite a lot that their development is huge when compared to their uh, initial stage. We want them to integrate in a local school. We want them to go and study in a local school along with a regular peer group. Across India, Deafblind children are being reached in previously unimaginable ways. They are being given skills and abilities that enable them to be part of their society. Parents are supported and being taught how to communicate with their children. And teachers are being shown ways of communication that benefit not just a deafblind child, but all children. Prabhakar runs a canteen in the planetarium in Trichy, in Tamil Nadu. He has worked with our partner, the Holy Cross Society, for 13 years and has reached a master's level in sociology. He is completely independent and is training three other deafblind adults to face life. It is impossible for a few organizations to bring changes in the life of the individual deafblind child. There is a big responsibility for the government. We have to make government to pass a law that not only they provide assistance like appliances, like hearing aids, like scholarship, ID card, even admission in the school. But there should be a law which should say the child should have the education with all his special needs met. Only when such a law is enacted by the government, where the individual educational needs are met based on the special needs, then only we can expect the children to succeed. So we are looking at a, a society, an Indian society, where every individual is doing what he or she is capable of. We are not promising stars, we are not promising moon, but what we are promising is the equal human right to every deafblind person. We are grateful to the European Union for their valuable support in opening doors for deafblind people. And we urge the civil society to lend their hand in unlocking the potentials of deafblind people in India. <laughs>